Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, in this video, we're going to be attempting to install this carbon fiber OEM style diffuser onto Letitia's Evo 10. So for a while now, I've been saying that this car is almost done, um, but there was a few things we wanted to tie together. So she got some carbon fiber, side vents, the Ganador mirrors, the scoop, uh, and the rear, like the side pillars. But she wanted something in the back to sort of tie it all in. So this is something she's wanted for a long time, the OEM style carbon diffuser. So I'll sort of pick it up so you guys can have a look. So it should be the same as the OEM one, just has these open sections at the bottom here. Um, but we're hoping that it looks like it has all the mounts and everything. And yeah, we're just hoping for it to be a nice, smooth, no trimming involved install. So we'll be taking the rear bumper off and then which will allow us to take the stock rear diffuser off uh, and then hopefully it just connects back on. We put the bumper back on. That is the goal, but unfortunately with carbon fiber, it doesn't really ever go that easy. So the other main thing we're really hoping is that we can keep the rear spats, the aero rear spats or what do you want to call them, lip. Um, because that's definitely a must have. We've got the full aero kit, we want to keep that, but then go into the carbon diffuser. And then, unfortunately, it's going to mean losing the rally art exhaust heat shields that she has, but I think we're Okay, so I've started removing some bolts. So yeah, like I said, we have this 10 mil that was up inside here. Um, normally it's clips, but on this car, I'm not sure if it's because it's an MR, it's different, but usually clips, but yeah, I had 10 mil bolts here and here. And there's actually a third one I didn't notice down in here, so you guys probably can't see, but I'll put the 10 mil bit on it. So right there, there's a third. So it'll either be a clip, plastic clip or a 10 mil bolt. Um, so you're gonna get those. So I've got them on the other side, gonna get these ones out um, and then I'll keep going from there. But I just thought I'd point that out because I did say that we had three here, it's actually four. So I'll get those. All right, so with that last 10 mil that's on, or the clip that's on the side, so we had the four either side of the inside of this wheel here. Last bolts should be these two here inside the boot and they are also 10 mil. So now I'm just going to have some clips underneath. So yeah, if you get these out, it's hard to hold the camera and get it undone. Yeah, if you get those out, that's going to be the last two. So one either side. Then if you go underneath, We're going to have a clip here. Should be another one. So either side of where the number plate or where the exhaust would be. So these little clips. Um, oh, yep, and one more there. So the other side, just the other side. If you have a dual exit exhaust right next to that, there'll be another one up in there. So yeah, it should be one two and three and then four five and six so three either side and you're just going to need a little trim removal tool to get those okay so all the clips out underneath everything out at the side so what i started doing was just sort of pulling out at the guard lining here so getting that out of the way and then sort of notice that it started bending a bit we had clips here, so just started sort of pulling on it. It's very similar to the front bumper where it's got the clips on the inside that you can see there, so it sort of clips in all the way. So it looks like I've just got one left there. I'm gonna leave that, go around to the other side. So this side hasn't been touched yet. So get the guard lining out of the way. So get up in there. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but it looks like you have to sort of pull it down a little bit and then pop it out. So I'm just going to put the camera down and I'll do that. And I think that's going to be, it was going to basically be the same as the other side, get it off to about there. And then we're going to get to the middle and just pull the whole thing. Okay, so as you can see, 
bumper is off. Uh, we ended up just taking the corner of the table lights off just because they were kind of getting in the way and it's just two screws, easy enough to remove. So yeah, we got those out, sat them in the boot. It's got the bulbs hanging there. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, clips all the way along, as you can see. So we got those out both sides and then it was just something clipped in here, I think down in here somewhere. But yeah, as we're pulling it in the middle, it's felt some resistance, but it wasn't hard, just pulled it and it came straight off. Um, There's a lot of debris. So I put it down on the grass over here and actually put it upside down because as you can see the amount of dirt it has collected. So yeah, now we have to work out how we take this diffuser off. Unfortunately, it's got my least favorite clips ever in the world. These ones, absolutely hate them. Can never get them off without damaging them. So I'm not sure what we're going to do there. But yeah, we'll um, start trying to work out exactly how we get that off. Separate it from the bumper. And then we're just, fingers crossed that the carbon one just sort of fits up um, exactly the same as the OEM one did. All right guys, sorry, I got a little carried away there and started just um, removing it. So you can see I've got it pretty loose. Um, so I'll flip it back down and show you guys exactly what I've done. So there was a bunch of screws. So we had one, two, three, four, five, either side. And then one, two, three, four, five. Got those out. Then what we had is my enemy my least favorite thing so all these clips here you can see i've popped them out so this was in there and it has this little clip that sort of so that would go over and that holds it in i bloody hate these things they're the worst so that now has managed to get the diffuser loose it just looks like underneath i have two more screws so i need to flip this up lay it on its side like this or even right over and then i'm just going to have two more screws there either side and the whole thing should come off all right guys sorry i got a little carried away and went ahead and just removed the diffuser and then it was killing me so i had to wash the rear bumper just i don't know I had to wash it make it nice and clean um so here's the two diffusers so i was sort of lining them up seeing what's similar so first thing we've got three clips on this side down the back one two and three on the carbon one that match middle one matches back one matches i don't know if they line up exactly but they're in a similar spot but last one you can see there on the oem one and there's nothing on this one so hopefully that's not a big issue other thing that i've found is there was screws and those clips holding the OEM one on. On the inside of this carbon one, all we have is clips all the way. So hoping that holds it, especially since it's missing that last clip underneath. So I'll lift the stock one back up as well so we can compare. So we've got clips all the way. What have we got? So again, it's got less than what the OEM one has, which kind of sucks. So missing that one there, but we've got one, two, three, and four, five and six. So they match up. And then only two at the end again. No screws that we had here. So we had screws on this one there as well there as well so it was extra support so it's unfortunate that no screw holes at all oh sorry i got a bit close to the mic there so it's unfortunate that no screw holes at all there um but we'll see how we go haven't tried to place it on yet so i might do that and just see how it sort of sits and yeah let's let's just grab it and take it over.
So you can see it's going to look really good, but it's just, is it going to go on nicely? So, yeah. I'm going to play around with it now um, and update you guys as we go. Okay, so a couple hours later, and here's where we're at. So unfortunately, the carbon diffuser does not just fit on as you'd kind of hope it to. So we've test fitted. So these clips, two here and two here, are basically all that is doing anything. And they use, I have one of them. Yeah. So they use these little teeth type clips. I'm not sure what you call these. I don't trust these things at all, but these line up and they're long enough that we can then get one of these on. And that's all we've been able to do. Um, this one is way too short to do anything and it doesn't really line up. You can see it's way angled. This one does, but it's not quite long enough to do much. Um, and same for the other two here. Then on the OEM diffuser, there was screws. I think there was like one here, one here, all the way down. So we had a bunch of screws as well as these style clips that were holding it on. This unfortunately has no screws at all. So I was not going to trust just having a couple of clips holding this very expensive diffuser on. So what we've done is we've actually pulled these off the factory diffuser, which were like glued on. So we're going to be sticking these down with some sticker flex. So we've sort of marked it out where they're gonna go. So that one about there. And we're gonna glue that down. And then this one I had to trim quite a bit. Um, is going to go there. That is going to give us two screw points at each corner. And then unfortunately for here, there's just nothing. No matter what we did, it was it would pop back off the bumper and it would leave like a gap there. So we're just going to have to sick a flex this area. So once this diffuses on the car, it's going to basically be staying on. Um, but yeah, we're hoping with all that, it should stay on. We were not wanting to just sort of put some bolts through the carbon. That would just be a little bit too obvious, um, like in seeing the bolt coming through, like on the other nice carbon fiber. So yeah, that's what the plan is. Um, All right guys, so it's the next day. Here's where we're at. We brought it inside and we're doing it on the table here. So see, we've got it kind of like mocked up. So you can see it's got these, these gaps here, which are pretty bad, either corner. Um, so what we so far have done is, as I showed in the last update, we've got some screws in down the back here. So we sicker flexed on the OEM mounting points. So we could have at least four screws in either corner. So that's actually holding it really nicely. Plus we're going to be screwing in the rear spat underneath to the diffuser somewhere up in here. So that'll hold that in as well. Here, we've got the four clips, but this part here is actually where it's sticking out on either side. So, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, down in there. So, what we've actually done, we've just gone and bought some of these brackets, and yeah, we've got the sicker flex ready to go. So, using the OEM engine tow hook, we're going to be basically sicker flexing these because so that's how it's meant to sit sort of thing, but there's not enough for that clip, same as this, to get and bite onto it. It's just not really doing anything. It won't hold it. So we're basically going to be pressing it in, sicker flexing that in place, and then using these on either side with these hooks holding it in place, setting it, leaving it for a couple of hours, and then when we sort of had these on with the clamp holding it, it actually sits almost perfect. It's like pretty much the best fitment that we've ever seen for one of these. So I think we've gone about it the best way. So shout out to John for helping us with this. Um, he's sort of, yeah, saved the day because come up with all the ideas here, but that's what we're about to do now. So yeah, we're gonna sick flex, clamp it and leave it for a few hours and then it should be good to go on the car. And we'll just put those couple of screws um, for the rear spats up into the carbon underneath where you won't see them and that should be it and that's pretty solid. So yeah, we'll do all that now and I'll probably pick the camera back up once it's time to go back onto the car.
All right, guys, well, as you can see, everything is ready to go. So the diffuser's on and it's been left overnight. Um, it's held really well uh, where we put the sicker flex, which was here and here. Clips on, screws on, and there's also going to be screws um, underneath going from the bottom of the spats into the diffuser in the corner. So good, good amount of support there. And yeah, it seems to be on there very nicely. So now basically we just need to fit the bumper back onto the car. So um, yeah, I'll just get Letitia to help me do that. So should be just clipping back in to start and then a couple of screws. Um, oh yeah, there we go, didn't lock that. So then yeah, it'll be the two screws um, and then I'll put the side ones in and we should be good to go. So once we've sort of got that back on, um, might just put the car down on the ground and let you guys have a look at the the final result. So it is now the next day. We have finished the car up and I thought I'd bring it out in the sun to film this or in the light rather than doing it last night when it's a little bit dark. So I thought I'd start at the front and show you guys the overall car, how it's all tied together. So carbon fiber front, so sort of grill mesh piece here. We've got the carbon scoop, the Ganador mirrors with the J panels, side vents there the side window pillars in carbon. So that was what we already had on the car, but to tie it all together, Letitia wanted this diffuser. So yeah, as you can see, it's all on. It actually looks really good. Fit, fitment overall is better than expected. I was a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, it's actually, once we use Sikaflex to hold these two middle sections in above the tips, which I showed you guys how we did all that, it actually fit really well. So yeah, we've got the rear spats back on. Um, still no sides good on this side, but we'll fix that up shortly. Um, but yeah, other than that, this project is completely finished. So yeah, overall fitment actually, like I said, was worried, but it's better than expected. It, it fits really well. It looks absolutely great. Um, had to do some other minor modifications once we started fitting it. Um, Firstly, it's an easy one, the number plate bracket. The holes for the number plate bolts weren't big enough, but we just drilled those out a little bit. And the sort of brackets that go underneath that you use clips on to the chassis, um, they weren't really the right size and in the right spot. Had to do a little bit of bending. Ended up using some bolts instead of clips to make it all sort of work and hold it sturdy. But yeah, overall, as you can see, looks really good. So, um, I would kind of avoided saying where we got this from originally because I didn't know how it was going to go, but um, realized I hadn't mentioned it all in the video. So it is from Carbonetics. I'll have a link in the description if you wanted to pick one up too. A um, little bit disappointing in the fact that it doesn't just mount up. You have to, you know, chuck some, um, some like the clip, the screw anchor points, I guess. You had to like sicker flex those down. We had to do sicker flex here in the corners. It would be better. And I would 100% recommend it if it just screwed on because the fitment is great. It's just getting it to fit is the issue. But yeah, we showed how we did that in the video. So if you guys pick one of these up, then you could do the same or something else you come up with. But either way, it does fit pretty well overall and it looks really, really good. It does tie the whole car in together, as you can see. So yeah, this car is like close to being finished now. I mean, this is one of the last things that Letitia wanted. She's been saying, I want this OEM style diffuser in carbon. She's been saying that since we got the car. Um, and yeah, now the vision has all come together. Little hints of carbon fiber sort of spread across the build and it actually flows so well. Um, yeah, very actually happy with how this has turned out, the whole car. So yeah, I'll chuck Letitia's Instagram up on the screen. You guys can go give her a follow, check out more photos of the car. Wish I had cleaned it before filming this, but I just don't have the time. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see plenty of photos um, of the car and of the new diffuser over there. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the diffuser and of the overall theme of the car, how it's turned out. Because this is pretty much exterior is done, I want to say. I don't think there's anything else she wants to do. So yeah, I may mean, never say done, but I think this is it for the exterior. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And subscribe if you're not already for plenty more videos like this to come. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.